On the upside, Rocky Mountain bighorn sheep are among Montana's most fascinating wildlife species. On the downside, they are highly susceptible to disturbance and disease. In the upper Yellowstone Valley, concerns about bighorn sheep health and herd movement have led to a new study. And in one successful day of capture, the study got a big boost. I am just really happy with how the capture went. We have basically three pretty distinct wintering herds in, in pretty good proximity to each other. We've had some disease issues with this group and the group to the south, uh, both of them being sick, and then another group to the north that has not been sick. And so uh, we're really interested in, in um, what the connectivity is. Each animal got two radio collars. The water belting collar is a GPS unit. So that, that collar is programmed to take a location every six hours for two years. But then that smaller collar that you saw in front of the wider one, that collar is programmed to turn on when the GPS collar falls off, active for at least another four or five years. So now I'll be able to come out and find them <laughs> with these radio collars. And also we have ear tags and, and different ways that we mark them in order to be able to tell them apart so that we can understand how disease transmission may or may not be occurring and also allows us to, to get a broader understanding of what strains of bacteria might be occurring within the population that is sick or not sick. And that's, that's some data that's, that's somewhat lacking. Wildlife biology is a relatively new science. And every time researchers find an answer, it raises new questions. This is Mike Grinnett, out among Montana's Fish, Wildlife, and Parks.